Hey fam, first of all, it is May 13th, which means it is my brother's birthday, so happy birthday to my brother. Last night, Friday, May 12th, I went to see Lewis Watson in concert. He came to Toronto, the venue that he went to was called The Mod Club. Back in November 2014, he went to the same venue, and now in 2017, we got to see him again. Toronto is a good two and a half hours away from where I live, so thank you, Dad, for driving me and uh, taking me to the concert. It is much appreciated. Thank you. We left at like 1.20 p.m., 1.30 p.m., and got there at 3.30 p.m. Yes, I stood in line for that long, but it, it was worth it. I mean, it wasn't too bad, the weather wasn't cold, and I mean, I kind of made some friends at the concert, as I have a habit of doing, and I kind of like it. I like making friends at concerts. Lewis himself got to the venue at about, I want to say, six-ish. Fun fact, he was on this tour all by himself. No manager, no merch guy, no lights guy, nothing. Just him and his guitar and his merch. That was quite a big task for him to take on, and uh, I hope he's doing well. He did have an opening act this time. The band is called Dizzy. They said that they went to high school with Lewis, though, so that's that's really cool. They were good. They, their genre was, um, I would say, chill, with like a lot of bass and chill beats and a lot of echoey guitar and nice vocals, and it was what I would call chill music. They had an electric drum kit, all electric, except for the cymbals. The cymbals were, like, real, but the rest of it was electric drums. The drum beats, the sounds, and the drum beats that they made were very nice. The girl who is the singer in that band, um, I know I've said this for another opening band that I saw at another concert, but the way she moved on stage when she was singing is similar to how I would sing and how I would move with the microphone on stage. While the opening band was playing, uh, Lewis was up in the window. Up there on like the second floor, there's a window and you could just see him watching their set and that was cool. Then Lewis came on. I did not cry this time. The first time I saw him in 2014. When you see someone that you've only seen through a screen, when you see them in person and you're actually in their presence and they like say something and you're hearing their voice, in person. It just, it blew me away and uh, it overwhelmed me and I just like went down. I just put my face in my hands and just like bent over and I just like violently sobbed into my hands and um, some girls in, um, in front of me just turned around and just, hey, are you okay? And yeah, I'm okay. I just, and she's like, yeah, I know. I did not cry this time when he first got on stage, partly because one, I had seen him back in 2014, and two, I had seen him as he walked in the, the venue at like 6 p.m., so yeah. I did cry during Sing or Swim, though. Halo made me cry, too. He's, he's amazing live. He, he's still got it, and, you know, he, he can do all of the things that you can hear in his album and his recorded work. He can do all of those things with his voice in person, and it's amazing to hear those things in person. Lewis Watson and I have the same guitar. He has the 0015M, and I have the 0015M. The brown one, the one I named Martin, he has the same one. When I met him back in 2014, I asked him exactly what the model is, and he said it's a 0015M, and now I have the same guitar as him. It was just him, just him and his guitar on stage singing, and he interacted with the crowd a lot. Which, by the way, I took care to record all the talking bits as I usually do in concerts nowadays. That's become a bit of a tradition, and that's on my vlog channel as well. You know what I really like when he performs is, one, he sings a lot with his eyes closed, but sometimes he tilts his head and he opens his eyes and he looks up like this. And I don't know, I just, I really like that little move he makes where he, you know, sings into the microphone and looks up like that. I like that. Then afterwards he had a meet and greet. I don't know if he met everyone in the crowd because there was about 350 people 
and he had 45 minutes to meet them because you gotta be out of here by 10 o'clock, Lewis. Okay, if you are watching this and you went to that concert, I hope you had a good time, and I hope you got to meet him if you wanted to. I did meet him afterwards. I was like third in line at the merch table to buy this shirt and uh, say hi to him and get a picture. So while I was chatting with him, I said, uh, hey, Lewis, I don't know, uh, if there's a, by any chance, do you recognize me? I'm the girl on Twitter who's constantly tweeting at you. And he looks up and he's like, Katie, Katie Sky. And I'm like, and I just like turns to my dad and I'm like, oh my gosh, he said my name. He even said it right. A lot of people say Katie Ski, even though I, I take care to say everywhere that uh, my name is Katie Sky. And he said it correctly. And wow. Such a nice guy. I gave him a gift. I gave him golf balls because he, he loves to golf, if you don't know that about him. My dad sells these golf balls that, um, they're called Encore Golf Balls, and the core is hollowed out, which is like a revolutionary thing in aerodynamics or something like that, and it makes it go farther and you have better control. And I put a sleeve of, like, three, I think one sleeve, one box thing is three golf balls, so I put that in the bag for him. I bet you can guess what the other gift that I gave him was. I gave him a Cellox, the product that stops bleeding. My father sells that as well. If you don't know what Cellox is, it's a super important first aid product that stops bleeding, and it should be in everyone's first aid kit. If you don't have it in your first aid kit, you can buy it at www.celloxonline.com. I also wrote him a letter, so I wrote the letter and uh, put the golf balls in there and put the Cellox in there and uh, said, hey, this is for you. Super nice guy. Um, I love that he recognized me. That was very cool to hear him say my name and wow. Then dad uh, drove us home and when we got back in our like hometown area, he took me to a famous restaurant. It's called the Town Restaurant and we had pancakes and omelets at midnight and that's kind of a tradition. My dad and I like to go out for breakfast at midnight after events like this. So again, thank you, dad. Lewis, if you're watching this, thank you for um, taking the time to go on this tour and uh, I hope you're doing well. I mean, that that's quite a task to take on, take, go on an entire tour with just yourself. Um, I hope you're getting a lots of rest and I hope you're having a good time and I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all doing well. I hope you're staying happy and healthy and hydrated. Feel free to subscribe to or just check out my music channel. I'm a musician as well. So if you want to see my singing videos, uh, you can go check out my music channel. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.